Previously on AFB. Good free. America's funniest home videos. We've gotcha. <laughs> so watch your step. We're just kidding. The Bergeron doll. And more of your favorite videos. We're AFB. And now, here he is, the man we tip our lens cap to. It's Tom Bergeron! Thank you. Thank you very much, and welcome to AFE. Tonight, we have so many great videos. You will experience every possible emotional reaction. You will gasp. You will guffaw. You will do both at once, so you'll, you'll guffasp. But <laughs> bored, that you won't get. So let's get started. In this game, there's only one strike and you're out. Watch the guy in the orange shirt. Hey, aren't you glad you tried this? Meet the newest receiver for the Green Bay Pinchers. Ready? Catch. Yeah! <laughs> Aren't you supposed to relax by the poolside? <laughs> Sofa cushioning and an exercise ball do not a gymnast make. Sometimes jumping under a trampoline is as much fun as jumping on it. <laughs> that turtle doesn't know what is going on. <laughs> if a friend with a black belt asks you to try this move, don't do it. I just bought a, a can of bug spray recently, and it says it has an outdoor scent, which, when you think about it, is, is vague. Outdoor scent could smell like the ocean or a landfill. But either way, I smell a segment on the great outdoors. <laughs> now that all the lawn is gone, the lawnmower doesn't need him anymore. I think he's telling you he wants colder water in his dish. <laughs> right over there to the right of him a little ways. Uh, uh, that bear is not very big. What do you do when you want a bear to come back? Send your wife out with a plate of food. Who said she's a chicken? Whatever a bear does in the woods, she's about to do the same thing. She's scared. She's ready to jump. Bodie Beatty. 
playing the ball. Good thing you didn't have a white dog. Oh. You would have disappeared. Where's the dog? Can you wag it, Bodie? Hey, Bodie, can you wag it? Can you wag it? <laughs> Got the ball? This ATV has a mind of its own, which is one more than these guys combined. Right now, let's meet some folks who are upwardly mobile. I don't mean financially, I mean figuratively. Well, sometimes disfiguratively. <laughs> the good thing is he's cutting down this branch to build a new ladder. This wicked witch is gonna want to set a spell. How much is that doggy in the mirror? <laughs> hey, I found the dim bulb. He's hanging the light. <laughs> if you don't live near the ocean, try stair surfing. Time for another AFV history lesson. In the 17th century, when Sir Isaac Newton watched that apple fall, he understood the power of gravity. And now here in the 21st century, we have trampolines to help prove that most people don't know Isaac Newton from a fig Newton. <laughs> hear about women's intuition and it makes guys like me jealous because we have enough trouble just with common sense. Uh, I love this next segment about women because it makes men think one thing. Where was your intuition then? Uh, I'll blame it on the dog. Wouldn't it be easier to just put in a gate? Could have had me on tape. <laughs> <laughs> She could let go here. She could let go here, but no. She lets go there. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, 
looks the same. Oh. I thought pantyhose were supposed to make a woman more attractive. At least she doesn't have those unsightly panty lines. Oh, look at mommy. Come look at mommy. Oh my gosh. Look at mommy's nose. Good. Just because you're a soccer mom doesn't mean you're supposed to take the free kick. Someone has outgrown her bra. Hey, Lucky. Yeah. What a man. <laughs> yeah. Come on, Come on. Come on. Oh, so Not only is snow fun, but when there is a lot of it, kids get to skip school, adults get to skip work. Well, all adults except me. Snow actually creates more work for me, and you're about to see just how much. <laughs> Have you ever wondered how they measure how deep the snow is? <laughs> you okay? <laughs> Over the hill and through the snow to grandfather's van they go. <laughs> I heard Frosty got a nose job from Dr. Katz. I love homemade bread. Oh, Jordan, here she comes. She's gonna hit us. Just get the geek alert. Yeah, there she goes. Oh. <laughs> wow. You're not supposed to ride a snowmobile over the grass or over your dad. <laughs> it's dangerous to pick up hitchhikers, especially if their nails can pop your inner tube. Pet owners, you ever try to get a cat to listen to you? Oh, they may listen eventually, but only when they're good and ready. Cats are independent thinkers, even when they're just thinking about making fools of themselves. <laughs> I don't know if the fight is fixed, but the fighters are. I think Mr. Jingles has a drinking problem. <laughs> Good night, sleep tight, don't let the bed cats bite. <laughs> Since when did they start making tuna cola? Looking for new ways to merchandise the show. 
And this time I think they've come up with a real winner. I'm not just saying that because they're using my face. It's the new Bergeron doll. It's the perfect gift, the Bergeron doll. Yes, it's the new Bergeron doll, the toy that's guaranteed to blow you away. <laughs> the Bergeron doll cries just like a real baby. And it's as beautiful as it is delicate. Imagine the joy on your child's face when they rip open the paper. And it's not just for kids. What adult wouldn't love opening up a big box of me? It's the Bergeron doll for parents, kids, and pets. It's the perfect gift. By the way, just in case you were wondering, the dolls are not anatomically correct. <laughs> But here are some videos that are the real deal. They say trees are crowd. Ow. Smile. After a long day of drooling, Bentley needs a good mouthwash. <laughs> this is not the high school musical everybody's talking about. It's the summer salt assault. <laughs> A lot of women dream about their wedding day from the time they're little girls. Most men dream about their wedding night from the time they're teenage boys. And most hosts dream about wedding clips like these. Hi, Kath. Hi, Kathleen. Take you, Derek, for my awful. Awful. <laughs> the bride and groom are taking a big step forward, the bridesmaids taking a step back. Whoever catches this bouquet is going to make a beautiful bride. He 
supposed to pull the garter off her leg. Instead, he's just pulling her leg. pulling out underwear too, only this time, somebody's still in it. example of safety in numbers because with each video we receive the overall safety increases and I don't mean for the people in the videos clearly they are in jeopardy I mean for our job security we like that yeah go <laughs> oh, go back in doesn't he realize he could be charged with barking and entering <laughs> oh no <laughs> <laughs> Fun for any backyard, it's the slip and drag. Whatever you do, don't show this one to Kathy. I'm not showing Kathy that one. In the martial arts, it's always important to save face. beliefs, one thing is certain, a place of worship is not a place where one should be laughing. Of course, we all know when you're at a place where you should not be laughing, everything's funnier. <laughs> Understanding or seeing clearly that Jesus was indeed the Messiah. I think the stairway to heaven could use a handrail. Forest for the trees. I'm okay. Another fallen evangelist. You know, there's a place for everything. Oh, oh, oh. Excuse me. It's for everything. I just want my place for it. It's all right, because I'm getting little. God says, if you circumcise your son, teach him how to circumcise his son, I promise your people will be fruitful and multiply and always have a homeland. You just said, Hini Mukhan. Not everyone agrees with the circumcision decision. We have an out clause. You can appoint a shaliyah and agent to do it for you. <laughs> I think the flame of their love is burning a little too bright. If you believe in the 
Lord Jesus Christ if you have put your belief on Him. In other words, you put all of your weight on Jesus Christ. I can stand on this pew because I have faith in this pew. <laughs> Now I would like you to meet a young man returning home from college. And what makes this uh, particular video fun is that I'm telling you he's returning home from college, but he didn't tell his family he's returning home from college. <laughs> it a prank, you can call it a trick, you can call it a practical joke, but you know what I call it? Money in the bank. <laughs> it's bad enough he's making his mom mow the lawn. Now he's scaring her with a snake. I have a feeling he's gonna scream like a girl. Ready? <laughs> Open it up, Kaylee. I You know when it's time to get new roommates. you where turkeys came from, you'd probably say an egg, and you'd be right. That fact escaped this next woman, and as a gag, her family stuffed a Cornish game hen inside a turkey, and she actually thought her dinner was pregnant. <laughs> she might be grossed out, but you shouldn't be. Turkey's messed up. What the heck is it? Ew, what is it? What? <laughs> Oh, it's a baby turkey. Ah! I can't eat that. <laughs> what is it? It's a baby turkey. Look at that. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, how did you get a pregnant turkey? I forgot to clean out the inside, that inside. I mean, that's good. It's got a little legs and everything. Look at that, Carol. Look, it's even got a little legs. It's got a baby turkey. There you go, it's little legs and everything. Are you allowed to eat that? Was there a long guest eating turkey? <laughs> like, with the baby in there? <laughs> what's that called, cow or something? Like, what's baby bird, baby duck? <laughs> oh my God. Are you serious right now, Carol? Are you serious right now? Cow? <laughs> Bird lay eggs. Yeah, That's a corner hen we stuffed in there to see if you'd actually believe if it was You're pregnant. Fine. I swear. <laughs> everybody knows except everybody knows except for you. It's a corner hen. Bird lay eggs, Kara. Come on. Here at AFE, we pride ourselves on having something for everybody. This next clip, dedicated to all the people out there with bad taste. <laughs> and now, a moment of... Ugh.
I'm sure you've heard stories about the rock star who demanded that someone pick through all the M&Ms in his dressing room and take out all the brown ones. Well, think of yourselves as the rock star. We have handpicked nothing but the best videos for you. Just don't ask for a little. <laughs> Well, the rest of you have proven that all you see is like an earthquake. Would somebody please tell him to shut it down? Seriously, shut it down! Oh, oh. <laughs> Lucky we got that on camera. <laughs> <laughs> he might not be able to talk, but his face speaks volumes. Sometimes your search for nuts can drive you nuts. Right, this is me and baby. We ride Harleys. We go everywhere. We're Harley fans. I guess a hog is a dog's best friend. Hey, it's Easy Rover. <laughs> Let's get this party started. Tonight's assignment, America, is for one very specific, very funny breed of dog, the clown of the dog world, the pug. <laughs> you have pugs? All right, well, listen up, because you want to get their little bug eyes and snorty little noses on video. Does your pug snore when he sleeps? Does he bark at the TV when our show comes on? Record that pugnacious behavior and put your pug's mug on TV. Jess? If you'd like to see your video on America's Funniest Home Videos, upload it to AFV.com. Or you can mail it to us at AFV, P.O. Box 4333, Hollywood, California, 90078. For full contest rules, log on to AFV.com or write the address above. Remember, you can't win if you don't send it in. Okay, let's make some family a little richer. Our first nominee is... The Terrier, the Turtle, and the Trampoline, sent in by the Zubik family from Alpharetta, Georgia. <laughs> Sometimes jumping under a trampoline is as much fun as jumping on it. <laughs> <laughs> Will our next video win the big money? Meet Fountain of Youth, sent in by Andre Lederer from Winnipeg, Canada. <laughs> And here's the final contender for tonight's big prize. It's Homecoming Hero, sent in by Vicki Green from Detroit, Michigan. <laughs> okay, our studio audience has seen the three nominees, and it's time to put them to work. Time to vote now. And while a winner is being determined, let's salute our honorable mention. For the results of our voting, our second place $3,000 winner is Homecoming Hero, sent in by Vicki Green from Detroit, Michigan. And the winner of the $10,000 in tonight's funniest home video is Fountain of Youth, sent in by Andre Lederer from Winnipeg, Canada. Look at this, what a happy young winner we have in Jeremiah. Andre, how are you? Andre and 
and this is Mom Rhiannon, right? And little, uh, little Jeremiah, who is the star, very well dressed. Now, you are a camp counselor, is that correct? Yeah, camp director, yes. Camp director, yeah. and it was at camp that uh, you saw Jeremiah going for the water bubble. I saw him going for the water, and I thought it could be interesting. <laughs> well, you, you, you certainly were right about that. Has he, certain, has he learned to master one of these things since? Yes, just after. Oh, just after. <laughs> well, that's a little unfortunate, because usually we award $10,000, but we thought, in light of the video, Keith, if you don't mind, we were going to just give you what you really wanted, Jeremiah. <laughs> A drink of water, but we'll give you the $10,000, too. Congratulations. Great having you here. We'll see you on the $100,000 show. Good work, Jeremiah. I'd like to stay forever, but we've got to give some other shows a chance. Until next time, remember, if you get it on video, you could get it in cash. Good night, everybody. Drink up, Jeremiah. Drink up.